you see when you say nobody like ads uh the problem is most people they say they're fans but they don't want to see the ads so they want artists to be paid but then they don't want to look at the ads so you don't want the artists to be paid simple as that nah it's not the same thing it is the same thing i'm great how are you master electronic if you made an app like youtube without ads how would you make money as the creator of the app that's the question there's two ways to monetize either you make because listen instagram the reason why they sold to facebook was that there were so many people on instagram that they didn't have enough money to pay the servers because people on the instant the internet they believe that the internet is free no when you do, you have an app and you are using the internet you have to pay for all the data that is going in and out so if you have 10 people that are using your app maybe it's going to cost you ten dollars a month to pay amazon and whoever that is hosting your 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 data and then you need to buy servers to host so let's say you do an you do you have an app like youtube and in your app people can upload videos so what is the size of one episode of club shutter i'm going to tell you one episode of club shutter uh that you are watching for example one episode is uh for example last episode was an episode is 2.37 gigabytes right so you have to store it somewhere so you have to store it on servers so let's say you have 10 guys like me who are doing an episode like this every week that's 20 gigabytes that are uploaded on the servers that you have to create versions machines have to create versions that are that are being able to be streamed and now let's say you have 100 people that are watching every show so that's two it's 200 gigabytes that are transmitted by every person and all this you have to pay for it so if you have 100 people watching maybe it's going to cost you 50 100 per day right now if you have a million users that are that are uploading videos now you need terabytes so you have to, you have to pay for the terabytes to store all the videos and then you have to pay for all the bandwidth of all the data that is coming up and down so oh this video there's one million people watching this video from that person now you have to pay for the one million terabytes that are just passing and passing from this place to that computer and if you don't pay the service is slow all of a sudden every user is yelling to you ah, it doesn't work and then they go back to to youtube so it's going to cost you so much money at a point your investors are going to tell you hey listen we gave you uh 50 million to create your app your app and you've you've been burning 1 million every month we would love to know how are you going to make money there's only two ways to make money ads that people hate or Subscription. People have to pay to be part of the app. Listen, I pay for YouTube. I pay 12 euros every month so that my whole family have no ads on their YouTube channel. You know what's cool? I never see ads on YouTube, but I pay for that. So if I watch your video because I'm a premium subscriber, you get money every time I watch your video any video that i watch you get money even if i don't see an ad my views are more um uh, i mean they bring more money my views than the people who are watching ads and because if you watch the ad till the end you if the people watch the ad till the end you get money if they only watch half of the ad you get a little less if they pass the ad you might not make money and then you have the ads on the side like etc etc so the problem is always the same. People don't like the ads, but people, people don't want to pay. We had the same thing when it comes to making music. My first album, we sold 100,000 copies. My second album, 
we sold 10,000. And you know what was the difference between the two? Because one was in 98, the other one was in 99. A big difference between the two, other than the, the fact that I, may, I, may, I might have not done the, the right music, one big difference is that Philips introduced in 99 the, the CD burner, where you could take a real CD, put a blank CD, and you put play record, and in 1x, it will bring out a copy. And all of a sudden, a lot of people in the street were selling copies of my album. A few years later, you had 16x, one album of one hour in one hour divided by 60, you could have a copy. Then you had the 60, 60x, where in one minute, you could do a copy of an album. Then you had towers, when you put one album, the, the, the master, the, the, the real copy, and you could do 25 copies in one minute. And then the CDs died and then the internet arrived and then Napster and people were like, oh, why would I buy something that I can get for free? The problem is if you do the app, how do you make money? If you create the content, how do you make money? If people don't want to see ads or they don't want to pay, how are you supposed to make money? That is always the same problem.